Hi, this is Larry Lunder, field agronomist with Pioneer Seeds, and I cover Western North Dakota. Today we're going to talk about sunflowers and specifically some of the early season things you'll want to do in your sunflower field. And that'll start off with taking a stand count. Uh, of course, depending on the row width and the type of planter or planter you use, air seeder, we'll, we'll take measurements, we'll count off the plant stands to see if there's a sufficient stand out there. Then we'll also cover what are some of the things that could reduce an early season stand. Uh, two that come to mind are two underground early feeding insects, one being the wire worm that can attack the seed before it emerges, and a cut worm which can attack the seed even after it has emerged. Uh, cut that plant right off at the ground and reduce your stand. Uh, another thing we'll want to look at is weed control. Uh, the pre-strategy and then what you do post to keep the sunflower fields as clean as you can and keep the weed competition down throughout the season. Okay, now we're going to take an actual stand count. This particular grower has 30 inch rows, so we've measured out uh, 17 feet 6 inches, which will give us one one thousandth of an acre, and we'll be able to go out, we'll make the count, and then we'll see where he's at for a plant stand. So what I got on that count was about 20. So we take 20 times 1,000, we get 20,000. Now there might be a few to come up yet. Uh, it's fairly early on in the season. I'm not sure how it'll work out, but if we have a plant stand of 20,000, we're pretty sufficient for Western North Dakota. So hopefully he'll they'll be off to a good start and headed towards a decent crop. Okay, so if we find gaps in a field, happen to the seed, what you're going to need to do is take your handy trowel, hand shovel, early on smaller is better, and uh, start digging into, into the furrow and finding the seed. So you have one right there, you'll see it's the case of it hasn't emerged yet simply because it is just early on in the process, but it'll likely be fine and come up. Um, this, you'll also be able to see if it's had damage in it from, a, say, a wireworm, you'll find a hole in the seed, and the seed, of course, won't be able to emerge because it's been killed off. But you have to dig, and you have to be kind of more like an archaeologist than an agronomist. You want to take it kind of slow. You want to be careful. Move some soil away, but don't move it away where you'll lose the seed. So you're going to be real careful when you dig and look for it. is where a seed didn't get put in there that could be an issue perhaps with planting something happened with the planter there was some issue there the next thing i want to discuss in the sunflower field is weed control uh, weed control of course is critical with any crop we go grow but it's especially critical in sunflowers because we have fewer options than we have with many of the other crops we grow whether it be corn soybeans wheat so key being get a pre on it's pretty necessary to have a pre in the program you can't just depend on post emergence get the right pre on that fits fits the spectrum of weeds that are giving you trouble then after you've had your pre on as we get into the season and we start to see some breaks and start to see some weeds come in with pioneer sunflowers you have the express sun option and you can go out and use express herbicide generally in conjunction with grass control that's added as well uh, best idea to keep the rates up high go maximum on your grass control go a half ounce of the express and then of course use a methylated seed oil we want to heat that express up as much as we can because unlike when we use it in a small grain we're not adding a 2,4-D or something like wide match with it in order to to make it work so we have to use that adjuvant and make sure we're getting the maximum efficiency we can out of it and it will help out with things like some canadian thistle breaks uh, and some other broadleaf weeds that that can pop up on you in the sunflower field if you use the combination right you can keep a sunflower field relatively clean and put more yield into that field that concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. 
Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.